one of the most exciting developments there, which was launched back in October, I think, yeah. is keyhole surgery. Yeah. Now, first of all, how unique is this? It's pretty unique. Um, we are, as far as we're aware, the only vets practice on the island who are offering it. Um, and certainly even in the UK, it's fairly unique. The guy who came over to set up the system for us said that he knows of about 120 to 150 practices in the entirety of the UK who are offering it, which when you think how many practices there are, it's only very few. Um, so it's it's really pretty unique and quite special that we've got it here on the island. So what would you say the main advantages, first of all, for pets is in, in going down this road? So keyhole surgery is far less invasive than um, standard surgery. Standard surgery for me is, is kind of unzip down the middle and put your hands in and, and have a fiddle. Sorry for anyone like uh, with a, a sensitive stomach or eating your dinner. Um, the the idea of keyhole is that rather than, than opening up, we um, make two t- tiny holes um, and pass a camera through one hole and pass the surgical instruments through the other hole. Then we inflate the abdomen with, with gas so you can literally see everything is it's quite amazing um which means that we don't have to handle things that we don't need to um which means that it's it's far easier to heal from and it's also a lot more comfortable in the recovery period as well because there isn't a big wound generally we don't have to send them home with a cone of shame because there's only two little holes and we could put a t-shirt on to cover those it's interesting because when i was thinking about this i was like well pets aren't really that bothered about scars but as you say that healing process i suppose is is totally different yeah totally different it's it's a different place uh, in in the body it heals much quicker and it's only a very tiny hole so what sort of surgery is this suitable for what sort of conditions can you treat with this so the the most common surgery we do with the the keyhole kit is um keyhole bitch space so um stopping uh, female dogs from having a litter of puppies and numerous other benefits to it but we can do all sorts of things with it it can help with um, removing foreign bodies from things like the stomach it can help us to diagnose liver disease um, by taking liver biopsies without major risk Um, it can also help us um, in cases of boy dogs who've got one testicle hiding in their tummies um, it's really handy for finding that tiny testicle um, because as I say you can see everything so it's much easier. And from your point as the surgeon how much more complicated is it for you? It's a completely different way of doing surgery when I when I was trained to do surgery at university we, we trained the majority obviously using traditional surgical techniques um, and you've got what you're doing in your hands and you, you, you move your hand and you know how your hand moves because you've known that since you were little. But um, when you change that to keyhole, you twist a dial and it rotates or, you know, you, you open a thing and it, it pinches or lets go. And th- it's a whole frame shift in, in the way you think about handling tissue and, and doing the actual surgery. But have you had quite a few people asking for this? Is it something that um, clients can ask for? I mean, Definitely. For dogs or cats themselves, presumably. <laughs> but we, we, we do occasionally have them wander in, but they usually bring their owners. Um, no, definitely. It's something that we're, we're open to doing. Um, if, if anybody's got an animal that they think would benefit from keyhole surgery, we're happy to talk about it because we do really believe it is better for animals. Um, so, yeah, we're happy to do it for, for anyone. But we're not doing people. I've had people ask and the answer is no. Is it a much more expensive procedure? Procedure, though. It's not massively more expensive. Um, it, it, there is an extra cost involved. Obviously, we've, we've had to go through a lot of training to be able to offer it safely and effectively. And actually, the kit that we use to do it is is really quite high tech stuff. It's it's really expensive, um, and that all had to be brought in. Um, so yes, there is an extra cost involved, but it's not as much as you might think. We've tried to keep it affordable because it is something that we think a lot of animals will benefit from. Uh, you say a lot of animals. Can it even be used on the little animals? Not too little. Um, we will go as small as a cat. We've not really thought about the rabbit aspect yet, but it could be something that we do. Um, the, um, the the kit we've got comes with a, a camera that's 12 millimetres or 10 millimetres across, um, and that's what we're using at the moment. We can actually get a much smaller camera, and that is something we're thinking about doing, but we kind of thought we'd test the water with the, the standard size camera first. Good.